The first flower that we're looking at is Taraxacum officinalis. Okay, I put the scientific name on there, commonly known as a dandelion. Okay, now looking at the gajillion of petals, we can already tell that this is a complicated flower. Although they're simple weeds that we're used to, they are called compound flowers because there's more than one flower in here. It has more than one set of pistil and uh, stamen in here. So looking at the overall flower, we're looking at something, never in inches, but we're looking at something that's about four centimeters in diameter for the overall compound flower. The stem is ending at about 10 centimeters. They can grow to be much higher, but the one we collected was 10. Now each petal is an oval shape. The petals range from one, let's see, one and a half centimeters to our shortest one is about a half centimeter. So petal length ranges. Um, each of these little dark fibers on here, that's an anther, okay? We're gonna have to open it up to see the pistils a little bit better. So our anther, I'm sorry, the anther lengths look to be about a fourth of a millimeter. So I'm just looking at the tip of these, that's where the actual pollen is. And then the entire stamen is about a half a centimeter long. Okay, now if I open these up, I can see the female reproductive parts. Okay, so my stem begins over here. Okay, and right here at the base, that's my ovary. Well, not my ovary, that's the flower's ovary. Okay, one millimeter in length. Okay, the entire pistil which includes this little extension of where the seeds will be, are about 0.75 of a centimeter. Okay, so the entire pistil, 0.75 a centimeter. The ovary is about one millimeter. Okay, so that's our dandelion. Take the piece of information that's most useful for you. They, they were picked growing in the sun. So this one is full sun, um, length about 10 centimeters.